Hola, one and all. Good evening, everybody. It's Wednesday night. We are, and we are live. We are riding with Mark. One Force One. Folks, 804, Wednesday night in the east. Oh, good. Roberta says it's okay. Well, we're waiting for the uh, audio AV check. But we have uh, Officer David. Folks, we are ready to roll on this Wednesday night. Please share that you are watching. Just a reminder, this Friday night, in fact, of course, Cranston PD Live returns and there will be a watch party at Stadium, Ted's Stadium, right there on Park Avenue. We are just waiting for Roberta to give us the okay. And then we are off, folks, on this Wednesday night. Last night was the, um, and again, good evening, everybody. Last night was the, uh, well, you know, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked it. Where are we headed? We are going wherever the action is, just like Beaver Brown used to say. Perfect, says Roberta. Now we're off and running. Officer David's monitoring. Folks, we are going. So we go wherever in monitoring. Where is the best place to go? We are not chained to just one spot. Now, last night was, in fact, the triple stabbing in Providence. The eight-year-old was stabbed. But that was last night. And I'm also going to update you regarding the situation with Officer Lugo, who is now going to be back on the force. So we'll tell you about that as well. There's Kathleen Caden. Thank you, Kathleen. Folks, again. I think they said all units, right? We're going to check that. All right, so folks, we may have, share that you're watching, we may have something going down. India Point Park. Now, it was nice out this afternoon. That could be ATVs. That could be some kind of a... Could be a fight. We're going to find out. So that might be a good place to start. Again, we are just underway... Wednesday evening. Hi, Nancy. As Nancy McCormick knows, first one. On the scene live stream. something about India Point Park. We're going to monitor. Folks, as many of you know, Mark is a fantastic driver. Last week, uh, hey, we're starting a little bit later. I also want to see how this goes, by the way. So, the reasoning is, all I want to know, it's, the reasoning would be, the later you go, in theory, less people are watching. However, there's no more Tucker Carlson. Ian, uh, why not? We're experimenting with different times. So, there's a traffic stop. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. see where the, this is going to lead. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Lots of construction today. <coughs> And we're on the board. We are on the board with 200 stars. Thank you. Folks, remember, that's how you show. It's impossible to fully show appreciation to the chosen one, but people do try. Yeah, Friday night, if you want to watch Cranston PD Live with other people, they're going to have it at Ted's Stadium Pub. I'm going to show you in just a moment. <clears throat> they're having a special watch party. We are certainly appreciative of that. And there's also going to be Cranston PD Live giveaways, folks. So it's a happening. That would be fun. I mean, if I wasn't the one riding, I would definitely go to, to that. And they're going to have it up on the big screens and so forth. So just find that as we're... It's, yeah, Ted Stadium, Kitchen and Pub. It's right on Park Avenue in Cranston, and they are advertising. Don't forget, Friday night, hosting a watch party for Cranston PD Live. Folks, and they're going to have a drink, a special drink for the chosen one. Let's sell that out. How about thumbs up for that? Who's that, Westminster? Yeah. I'll okay. He left. Uh, we'll find him. <clears throat> Folks, one of these times I'm going to bring Rummy along as acting as canine. Inside three. Doesn't that look fantastic for Friday night? Folks, how's that for a drink? See if you can throw five of those down your throat. Oh, that sounds like a good one. Yeah. Oh, there is? Okay. All right, we're going to check that out. Folks, we're seeing a cruiser right here at India Point. Officer Mark has spotted it. Oh, there goes another one. All right, folks, we got something going on. Share that you're watching. Folks, first one on the scene live stream. Do we have a light test? Yep. We are ready to roll. <clears throat> All right, folks, we got something going down. Could be gang trouble. Or, oh, maybe it's just, well, we don't know. Yeah, that could be real. I don't think. Like a traffic stop? <laughs> I don't think. Really That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll roll that way. Yeah, Look at all these trucks. One. What is it, construction night? Oh, there goes another one. Yeah, that was several. Yeah, right. All right, folks, there goes the Providence Police. They had a busy, there goes another Providence Police. All right, something's going on in the area, folks. <clears throat> now, I hope... Um, by the way, for those that are subscribers, hi there, Kathy. Subscribers saw that I now have the um, special lights, but that's for the Wan Mobile. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna have that for Mark's vehicle, just in case you can get trouble for having those. <laughs> it's one thing if I'm driving, but it'd be another thing if you were driving. So, but that will definitely help. Well, we'll see. Maybe over in time, Mark will say, you know what? Let's use try that. I'll try it out a few times. Let's see how that goes. Were you out with the other units at 
Unrelated calls into the details. Folks, here we go. There is. The, how about thumbs up for that? Look at. Oh, here we go. Folks, wa- think of one cutting through traffic with that on the top. Everybody out of my way. Big time. All part of being a crime fighter. All right, now we had heard India Point Park. If not, there's already a few things that are happening around the city. <clears throat> Especially the uh, Westminster at the night for it. Someone's intoxicated up on the hill. Hard to believe. Received an update to that mail I, I broadcast. He went to uh, Westminster outbound. Oh, okay. Oh, you see that? From that street, 10 floor, 2 floor, yeah, 1 street. Yeah, I see two cruisers over there. That's right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's related to it. Hmm. All right, folks, look like we have some police activity up ahead. Share that you are watching. Remember, it's Wednesday night. First one on the scene, 815. All right, we got some. Something's happening. It might just be. There's one cruiser. Very soon, Juan will be pulling people over now that he's got the light. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the bullhorn. Pull over, Perkins. Perkins, pull over to the side right now. Do not move. Perkins, we have you surrounded. That's right. First one on the scene live stream is the hot club. Not packed. <clears throat> Seafood grill, and then we come up to Fishco. All right, hey, busy Wednesday night. We like to see people out in the city. That's not a bad thing. There was a stabbing earlier at Burnside Park, but I think it was just like a homeless person. And I don't mean it like that. I mean, I think they were having a fight. I came out wrong. The eight-year-old, you know, that is just hard to picture that a 22-year-old was stabbing his 22-year-old nephew, uh, eight-year-old nephew. Horrible. The door to the apartment was actually off the hinges, and upon knocking on the door, the door just fell in. Make sure it's documented. Whoa. It's not a 144 Early Street that came in from 911. Uh, the caller stated that they were 13, unknown if it's a male or a female, and that the aunt was making threats to oh. or to the female to assault her. Wow. Plus, we'll keep the peace. There's no answer on the call back, Code 3. Folks, all these domestics. I may call a town hall meeting to explain to people. 222 Channel 4. We're close to that, actually. Early Street. I think we're, we're, oh, we're eight minutes away. Where is that? <clears throat> Maybe it's farther than I thought. Yeah. But if it's a youth, we're not going to get involved. Yeah, the, pro- yeah. the other part is not on scene. It was yeah. Like, over the phone. Okay. That's in South Providence. <clears throat> Folks, we're on Wicked In Street, right near where K&B used to live, right near the Fox Point Boys Club. By the way, there's a tremendous pizza place around here, Pizza Marvin. Wow. Unbelievable. There's Arnold Street, Transit. This is, folks, we are the heart of Fox Point.
difference San Martino also manning all all channels of first responders so wherever something happens we'll go there as many of you know the uh, years off to a lot of violence in Pawtucket and then yeah eight-year-old stabbed eight-year-old stabbed Folks, how about thumbs up? Officer Lugo back with the Providence Police. Had his hearing. Turned out. The, uh, the police board did not find Jennifer Raw credible kept changing her story. So congratulations, Officer Lugo. Boy, folks, that was last June. It's turned his life upside down. All right, we're over at Brown. We're gonna move in towards the city, North Main a little bit, where the real people are. In the open, down in Isaac, A little quiet over on yeah. this side. Yeah, I was gonna go down there and read to North Main. Yeah, that's perfect, life. perfect. Cool. Them just walking in the corner. Yeah, they walk, walk right out. Please on level one, the restrooms in the mall. For a, uh, a female they're describing as disorderly or hostile. Uh oh. And asked to, to uh, leave the oh. bathroom. All right. Mark's going to handle this one. Ladies' room at Providence Place. <laughs> <clears throat> Either that or we're going to have to get Ladybug in there. By the way, folks, thumbs up. Ladybug, we're going to have her on very soon. It's been telling she's now walking without her walker. How about that? God is good. She almost met her maker. Ladybug was going towards the light. Unconscious, last rites. Now she's walking without a walker. <clears throat> All the prayers. How about that? It is. That's some Providence Police. That is Campus Police. Oh, Campus Police. Okay. spring night all right we'll work make our way down their street oh, it's busy it is folks clay pal is still around here looking for the prius <clears throat> nine year search you know, you have to admire him not giving up. He's convinced it's still over here. Yes. So folks, their street's alive. Oh. Uh, 2023. All right. He's going to Roger Williams. We will not be there to greet him. What's playing at the Avon these days? A quiet girl. Haven't seen it. Crouching tiger. Haven't seen it. Ends Thursday. Not going to see it. Oh, there's Shake Shack. You know, I don't know what they would do though. Fair Street bike lanes, yeah, but this, then there'd really be no parking. Peaceful night on there. 
operator on the highway that exited into Providence. Oh, what's this? Seen at that intersection. Unknown direction from there. All right. Asian male operator. Uh oh. Black BMW SUV. India, India 701. Okay. Folks, look like we got a chase. We're going to make our way down towards North Main in the city. Asian male BMW. Busy for a Wednesday. Yes. Good for the businesses. The yes, colony. it is. Good for the college bars. All right, folks, here we go. We're going to make our way down towards the city, and then we're going to work our way across. Although we are going to look for this <clears throat> Asian and a BMW. That's not racial profiling. That's the description. Yep. Again, E25. By the way, thumbs up if you like the new time. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, last week, it was a little bit later when things started to really break. So, you know, we're still in exploratory phase. Try and, you know, try different times. Sometimes 7 to 9. Sometimes 8 to 10. <clears throat> Last night I just nodded off to sleep when then the triple stabbing came down. So, but we shall shall see. This was the vehicle that was oh. uh, early this morning oh. being pursued by Pawtucket okay. on uh, possible breaking into vehicles. Oh, okay. But they didn't have any charges. Okay. No. All right, folks, we're heading our way. You can see there's the skyline ahead. You know, folks, as you know from here, I mean, the city does look nice. This part of the city, especially this shot right here. I think all the kids from Brown, RISD, the parents come. They're like, wow, what a delightful, <laughs> what a delightful place. Yes, and also, folks, Roberta Farrell, Defender of the Faith. Roberta's right there. Always posting updates. Can answer questions. We are in live stream season. Uh, April has been a record-breaking month. And I think May will be the same. Folks, also, for the end of the night, a Charlotte Lester update. Don't forget the vigil coming up May 16th. Remember, we have not given up on that case. The rest of the media has. We have not. We haven't even gotten started yet. And I am still in court against Iron Ski Mask Man. We are now right in the outskirts of Kennedy Plaza. So we're going to see what we're going to see. Yes, that is exactly right. Well, one after... Oh, oh. One after dark is kind of, uh, kind of morphed into first on the scene live stream. So... We are now entering Kennedy Plaza scene of the uh, stabbing earlier the only thing is a lot of the there was a lot of homeless people in and around this area and a lot of times they fight back and forth and so you hear stabbing but it's actually just it's it's not like you know it's not like jack the ripper it's not like last night that eight-year-old was almost stabbed to death and then, that was a triple. Then he, he stabbed a 70-year-old man and then a 50-year-old 50, 50 woman, I think. 22-year-old was in court. She, that, uh, she is acting crazy and oh. they wouldn't provide an address. Oh. They said they needed police. Tough to get to them. And they won't provide an address. It makes it a little difficult. Yep. Yes. 
Folks, the Charlotte Lester case has not gone away by any stretch. And the one-year anniversary of Charlotte disappearing is coming up Tuesday night, May 16th. And with the family, we're coordinating a candlelight vigil. Make a loud statement. We're not, as they say, we're not going away. Ladybug will be in attendance and we'll be live streaming and ask you to join as well. Full live coverage. They want to know where the vigil will be. The vigil the place has not been announced just yet, but it will be in Appenock. Near the crow's nest. Oh, I think there's a little park over there by the water. Yes, near Linda's boat. <clears throat> I'll give you plenty of notice on that. You can either watch it on the live stream or you can come. Say hello to Juan. Ladybug will be there. We're planning full day coverage. Charlotte, one year. On Tuesday, May 16th. And I, I want to uh, just say this right now. At 8.30 on this Wednesday night, of, um, folks, I still have full confidence the work police will solve that, solve this situation. Right now, it remains a missing person. I have full confidence Warwick police will solve it. One way or the other. One way or the other. Now, folks, remember, it's, it's still early, obviously. We're in no rush. Mark is driving, yes. One Force One. Friday night, though, you can go to Ted's Stadium Pub and order the one after dark. Or one on the scene, whatever. It's a very she's stiff a drink. She's locked oh. in, the, uh, in the rink building. Folks heading up towards Broadway near the public safety complex. Now, Friday night, Black Lives Matter PAC is planning some kind of a protest because of the Lugo situation. If I thought it was going to be violent, we would cover it. I do not get that sense in any way. So, therefore, I'm not just going to go and give them publicity and cover them. <clears throat> Those days are over. That's what I was advised the first call. Are they? I believe they're marching around. It's just going to stand behind the police station. <clears throat> but, but in the past, I want all of you to know that in the past, if anything goes south, Cranston police are called in. So, I mean, I may go if I'm with Sergeant Corvisi. But I am not going to go. I am not giving those people a platform. They just spout lies. I'm tired of it. They, they, they don't live in reality. I, I think, I mean, BLM, who thinks they're a force anymore? <clears throat> They've been covered in scandals with real estate deals. and So... Friday night at six o'clock, but it's my understanding they're just gonna like stand there and speak. No, I'm not gonna go and cover them. What? No, no, that's not happening. Out of the city. Oh. Folks, if they wanna march and break windows and light fires and fight with the police, then we will cover. But we back the blue 100%. Well, you the skating ring? Somebody locked at the skating ring. Yeah, she's locked inside. I'll go let her out. I'll go right, let her out. Off. Just advising that this it might be a check the well-being on this female when you're in room. All right. She's stating that uh, oh. I'll keep you out at the mall. All right. All right, folks. Making our way down Broadway. All right, received. She's out of the building. She had stated to the complaint desk that she was locked in the building all day and is now out. Oh, wow. There was a male standing by with her. 
Sylvia checked the well-being on this female poultry. Oh. How is that possible? I don't know. All day. All day? Don't you have a cell phone? Inside the rink? Seems a little odd. Two, two. This location retransported now to VA for detox. Are they going to charge her for skating rentals? Time now, 2034. 2034. All day coverage. Yeah, I know, all day. All day. There's Maria's Cucina. Also the Idlow Club. They have a nice porch there, by the way. Nice place to sit and just have a nice cold drink of Juan on the scene. Hola, one and all. Good evening, everybody, on this Wednesday. 273. Well, correction, sector 7. Sector 7 responded 326 Branch Avenue. Uh, the call of our friend's ex boyfriend that's on scene and refusing oh. to leave. Oh. Uh, he's outside, removed. Code 3. Wait a minute. Now I want everyone uh, watching again. Good evening to know. Now we're mon we're monitoring. We have David San Martino monitoring. If something right now were to go down in Warwick or... 244, second attempt. Oh. No answer. Unable to make contact. East Greenwich or Cranston. We will be there in two seconds. We will be on our way. But we thought we'd just start Providence. Hit and run, 711, oh. code 3. Oh. Is that an ATV? Sounds like it. Oh, I thought I could hear one. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Folks, downtown Oneyville. Downtown Oneyville is alive. Folks, we may have a live stream party right down here at Mon Ranchero Restaurant. My Ranchero. All right, now there was a shooting, uh, shots fired, excuse me, shots fired last night, right in the uh, Hartford Avenue projects. I did not go, I was, Juan was sleeping. All right, 838, folks, good evening, one and all. It is Juan. The name of the game is First One on the Scene live stream. Right now, we're uh, leaving Oneyville, heading over to, I think it's like Manton Heights. 
is it? Uh, well, Hartford Avenue, Hartford, Hartford Avenue. Avenue housing projects to your right and left. 243. There was also another shooting in Chad Brown the other night. They don't call it that. All right, folks, we're monitoring something right now. They don't call it that. They'll say March Street. Black Actor involved, but one fled. Hmm. The Black Actor fled. Let me confirm that. I think that's the hit and run on Cranston Street, maybe. Oh, folks, look how they walk right out. Um, you notice that they've been saying the media's been saying March Street. It's it's Chad Brown, but um, they're afraid that it's politically incorrect to call it Chad Brown. Even though that's the, the name of the housing project. So that's where the 15-year-old was shot and killed. That is still unsolved. And that is also, um, there was a shooting there. Someone was shot in the neck. Female, though, I heard. Again, though, it was like 1.30 in the morning. Juan was dreaming. something going down. Yikes. Here comes some more speed bumps, everybody. And there we go. Again, thank you to Roberta Farrell all of our subscribers. Folks, you can subscribe to the page. Subscribers have been getting a lot of inside info this week. We've been really upping that. Videos tipped off when things are happening. And it's only going to increase. Remember, it's only 24 cents a week. I kid you not. I know what you're thinking. That's a steal. Juan, that's a steal. It is a steal. Then steal it. We're in the lake. Coming up, that's right, where Rudy Sierra took it in the well, phone booth. <clears throat> or actually, I think he's the one that shot the one in the phone booth. Looks like Smith's information didn't transfer to the call. Did you make sure that Cypress. Uh, description and direction. Yeah, oh. Cruise by there. All right. Let's head to Cranston Street. <laughs> Something's going on. Seven. And stop and hold vehicle that fled from 
vehicle that fled from a traffic accident at the 7-Eleven on Cranston Street went out back on Cranston. Uh, black Acura. That's right, Ed. Model and some minor That's kind of like at the Providence Cranston line, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Folks, even though we're going to be in Cranston on Friday night with Sergeant Corbacy, by the way, And I believe it'll be every night, every Friday night, every night, every Friday night through the summer. No, we can't do it every night. Every night. Well, I'll be out every night, but we can't ride with Cranston every night. That's just too much. I don't want them to get sick of me. And vice versa. I know. Black Acura. Folks, we're looking for a black Acura. Fled the scene. Traveling the right lane, 195 eastbound, just passing exit one. Caller still behind the vehicle. Caller driving a white Dodge Journey. Exporto 161. Okay. Well, we're going to go buy it. I know where we are. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no left. Let's go by that accident. At least some police activity. I'm going to be here on Friday night, so I need a little vacay. No, no, we're going right back into Providence. All right, here we got, folks, here we have some police action up ahead. Let's follow them. Let's see where they're going. Okay. We can see them in the distance. Folks, this is Cranston Street. I believe we have Providence Police in pursuit, I believe, of someone up ahead. We're going to check it out.
folks, this is Cranston Street. Regarded as a high crime area. I saw lights that way. Did you take a right? Straight. He is? Yeah. I saw lights up the other way too. Oh, okay. my bad. But he shut them off. He's right there. Take the right then. Yeah. like a nice new business that's opening. I see that was a church. Oh, okay. I'm working late at night. Vehicle. She has video surveillance. All right. I got the video. Looks I'm going to take a look at that. That's right. Yeah. Folks, the police are looking for a vehicle right now. So you're going to hear it pop up from periodically from time to time. I would, I, uh, let's see, it's Wednesday night, and it, I mean, last night, that was a triple stabbing, including an eight-year-old. Plus the shooting at Chad Brown. Plus more shots fired in the Hartford Avenue projects. We're going to cruise towards North Main. Actually, Control, if you could call, just get his info. He's a uh, regular here, so it'd be good to know who he is. No. Folks, another busy night on Cranston Street. Little bit of graffiti. Hate to see that. Oh, hold the bus. Folks, that could be an episode. Juan on Ripta. Thumbs up. If, whoa. Th thumbs up if you'd like to see an episode of that. Juan on the bus goes round and round. 25 West Church Street, apartment 215. I don't know if I have no affiliation with this person that keeps calling them or if she's concerned for the well-being based on the conversation statement she's been making. If you give me a 21 anyway over there, I'll be able to give you more information along with her name. 25 West Church Street, probably 215, that's what we have for in-house. It's a well-being check at this time. Folks, here we are, Cranston Street Armory. Governor McGreed still has not figured out what to do with it yet. We are rolling towards the city. Mr. 
District 2. Uh, the neighbor is the one that provided the surveillance reference to these two juveniles in the backyard. Oh. And the vehicle is described as a Honda Santa Fe oh. uh, SUV, smaller SUV. Plate looked like it was one Lima Golf 404. All right, folks, we got a lead on it. We'll track down those juvenile delinquents cutting through the lady's yard. She's got them on video. You know, when we were here, I think I think two weeks ago, when we uh, we stumbled upon the gun task force. Remember that, Mark? Yes. Yes. Folks, again, 855 Wednesday night. It is one. We are riding. Riding with Mark is our Wednesday night episode. Right now, we are in Providence. I want you to know we are ready to go and be first one on the scene wherever that may bring us within reason. Okay, five, Dave, you have Brown Hasher, David King, four one zero, and so white Nissan left behind there at five one time. And we're monitoring Double. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're monitoring that. Yes. Folks, again, just a reminder, Friday night, if you want to, you could go to Ted Stadium Pub, Park Avenue. They're going to have a Cranston PD Live watch party. Now, there's also going to be giveaways, merchandise. <laughs> no, I'm not going to her house. Somebody sent me a photo of Poopy Pants today, by the way. Pants back us. You know, that's why. Oh, hold on. All right, uh, 221 and 245 was inquiring on Channel 3 about this vehicle uh, update. The, the plate that I just broadcast for Rose is coming back on a 2006 uh, Hyundai Blue. Out of 25 America Street, Apartment 3 in Providence. Does that mean maybe they're headed there? Possibly. Yeah. Let me see where that is. America Street. Could be a wild goose chase. I think those are the kids that were here. Oh, we're one minute away. Oh, seven minutes away. See where it's near. Uh, oh, it's up near the hill. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Let's head back towards the hill. I don't. Yeah. Folks, this is Broad Street. I mean, it it can be busy, but for whatever reason, it's quiet right now. Oh, this is the Providence Police Substation. Oh, oh, we're in luck. There's a family dollar. And a dollar tree. Looks by Rhode Island law, there now has to be a family dollar, a dollar tree. Every six blocks. Oh, it's a woman with it. Oh, good. Yeah, you may want to put your mask on before you go in the store. The pandemic called. They want their mask back, lady. Quite all right. You're not late to the party at all. You haven't missed a thing. Folks, nine o'clock. First one on the scene live stream Wednesday night. Mark is driving. Ron, Ron, 
Juan is riding shotgun. We are gonna, um, they've been chasing these different vehicles during the course of the evening. But the ideal situation is something happens and boom, we are first ones on the scene. Now, last week that did happen with the, the guy that was beaten, uh, beat up with the baseball bat. So, that was not easy. Maybe I will. Me, why, me riding the bus some night. Me and LB. Taking the Ripta. I don't think so. This is a nicer ride. We are on Broad Street. I'm going to cruise over. There was something earlier with some uh, a valet on the hill. And now there's this vehicle that they're trying to locate. And the address that they believe came back was, was uh, a street right up on Federal Hill. So we're going to cruise over there. Thank you for the stars tonight, folks, on this Wednesday. <clears throat> folks, it's all... The ebb and flow one will try to keep you entertained as we roll along here. Central and classical. Yes, okay. Thank you, David. Folks, big shout, thumbs up to Roberta Farrell, David. We're also going to have a new team member who's going to be joining soon. Make that announcement sometime next week. Not a very dark stop sign. No, a little faded. Folks, this is the scene. This is where, this is the Providence Public Safety Complex. This is where BLM PAC will have their little gathering Friday night. Listen, if they're going to fight the police and riot, yes, I will come and cover it. If not, no, I'm not going to film them giving their little speech. Although, uh, when the homeless advocates were sleeping out at the State House, I did interview Harrison Tunnel, and he was actually a very good sport about it. He's probably watching this evening, so good luck on Friday night. Folks, it's one thing when they march on the streets. Response in the area of crossing to Broadway, keep the peace. No complaining reports of several subjects yelling at one another. No oh. description due to the darkness. Broadway. Right? Yeah.
No, that's not any of them, but yeah. That's one seven one, so it should be coming down on the left. Oh, if there's a fracas, we'll see it. Yep. Folks could be coming upon a melee here. Lock the doors, everybody. The old Columbus. Who remembers the old male cast films of the Columbus? <laughs> I never attended, I was too young, but I used to see them listed in the paper. Now we are right, I think it's still a little bit farther up. Yeah, I was just looking down. Should be some individuals fighting. Folks, Juan may have to get out of the vehicle and kick a little old-fashioned ass to get people to quiet down. Oh, disregard runway. No, another unit's coming. Oh, okay. I canceled the other unit was farther away. Okay. So far, quiet. Mm. Are, are, are we not there yet? Oh, there's Nix. Folks, they knew one was coming and smartly dispersed. Oh, we can uh, go down and then up around Owls. Okay. We'd go up around Chad Brown. We've been up there a little bit. Part of our tour. We are going to go by America Street. Complaining pulled into 391 Charles Street when he's not going to We're going to hit America Street on the way. We drove by those. Oh, down the look road. quiet. All right. Well, they may have dispersed. Wait, folks, again, good evening on this Wednesday. Mark is driving. One Force One, it is Juan. The name of the game is On the Scene Live Stream. Now, as you can tell, A for effort. We are making the rounds. And like last week, somebody was assaulted, beat up with a baseball bat, and we were first ones on the scene. If we had been out last night, we may have encountered the triple stabbing. <clears throat> it's all ebb and flow. You can also um, leave comments. Let Roberta know if you like the later time. This is obviously later than we normally go. We were doing 7 to 9, then 7.30 to 9.30. Tonight we're trying 8 to 10. Um, no, let's go that way. Let's go that way. Yeah. Go up by 
Douglas PC, Chad Brown. Now folks, earlier today, there was a report that <clears throat> first came across that a student was shot on a school bus. And just as we were getting ready to get over there, we learned that uh, somebody threw a rock through the window of a school bus. <clears throat> Huxley, All right, Huxley. Let's check that out. That's PC. Loud music. Yeah. All right, so the college kids could be out. I'll go up to the door, tell them to turn it down. Well, folks, thumbs up if you'd like to see Juan get out and dance to the loud music. <clears throat> Go by Huxley. See just, we'll see just how loud this loud music is. Folks, thumbs up this week. Folks, no PC players arrested this week on gun charges. It's a good week. Just think of that. No friars needed to be bailed out on gun charges. I know a win when I see one. There's the lady of the house with the rats, that poor woman, because of the dumpster in the back. We were there last spring with LB. We're really close to that. They turn the music down. There's no loud music. That's right. All right, we're going to see the male acting erratically. Academy. I did not catch the number, but it, it could be near Truckstone. I got it. Okay. It's 
Sackett Street. That's ridiculous. I'm going to see the sense in those. You don't want to get a ticket. Speed bumps. All right, let's see what we have. Yeah, these streets are just impossible, folks. My goodness, these speed bumps. Academy. Did a call come out? An individual that was causing some problems with, I think, motorists. And let's see if we can locate him. All right, no going forward. We cannot take Academy. There's too many speed bumps.
Oh, there it is. Do you think now is that? Okay, now that's. Oh, here we go. All right, let's. What do we got? There's police there. We have police here. Let's. Why are we? Why are we keep going here? Let's. Oh, we're gonna turn around. All right, folks. Let's see what we got. pull up like right on the side street. Um, you go around that way. Yeah. yeah, that'll be perfect. Right in front of this dude. Or oh, whoever the hell that is. Oh. Now let's follow where the police are. Okay, yeah, we can see. No. They're exiting. down talking to another party. Okay. All right, let's go that way. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, folks, whatever it was, yeah. here's Providence Police on the scene. They are talking to this individual. saying oh, they're going back to America Street. Oh, okay. Yeah. But we went by America Street. Yeah, there was really didn't, nothing didn't going see on. There no. Any lights or vehicles? Nope. No police presence. Folks, 922, good evening, everyone. It is one. We have. I should be clearing to the radio. The Cold Feet business line on Sackett Street, 2159 Sackett Street, Foyer, Rear Foyer, Double. Hi, Nancy. Nancy McCormick should be at. Ted Stadium on Friday night for the watch party. Hi, Nancy. With Jane. I'm sure we're going to make it by at some point with Sergeant Cordesi. Friday night watch party, Cranston PD Live. Folks, that would be fun. It's like instead of watching a football game together. And the Sergeant has some good cases lined up. Now, folks, again, there's an ebb and flow to everything. Last night, as I was saying, there was a triple stabbing. And then there was the shooting the other night. Again, both were... The shooting was a little bit later into the night. Yeah, let's try back uh, past America, just to be on the safe side. Folks, they've been looking for a vehicle tonight. Again, 924, good evening one and all. First one on the scene live stream. We are out. We are not waiting. We're waiting to, well, to pounce on the scene with the live stream.
What's that, large German Shepherd? Yeah. <laughs> Folks, large German Shepherd loose. Uh oh. I also wanted to update everybody. Um, now I did contact Pawtucket Police, so that was self-inflicted wound Slater Park yesterday. We we're the only ones to report on that. And I want people to know, someone asked, you know, well, is there an update on the condition of, I, and, and I can understand maybe someone's concerned, but once that is determined that it's a self-inflicted wound, that's the police, that's like, they don't report anymore to me. Um, if you know the person, I suggest you reach out to the person, the family. Otherwise, eh, they don't really give out that info. Once it was determined it was a self-inflicted wound, for those that saw the photo, um, we did get an update. I did communicate with Pawtucket Police and we got you an update. And then also Sunday night, we had the update on what happened in Warwick with the, the band hunt. <clears throat> We're the only ones that have that story. So, and then I saw people say, well, was it a male or female at Slater Park? You know, I... Negative for music, negative for you have to ask yourself, like, a need to know. Like, do you really need to know that? Was it a man or a woman? Or is that like a... legal park says 106 Huxley as well, sir. 109. Oh, there's Huxley again. Um, yeah. But folks, just know, like, I can't, you know, if I say to the police, like, well, was it a male or female? Well, you know, they, they don't want, it's not nosy one. I saw some people posting, well, was it a male or female? Well, well, well why does that matter? I mean, it, the whole thing, I, I agree, is sad. Someone went there to then self-harm, but once that's been established and it's not like they shot someone else, that they're, I think in the hospital, that kind of the communication with the police falls off. I know some people don't like that, but right now, we're right near America Street. America is a one way. But I wanted uh, people to know, I mean, I do inquire to find out what that was. Um, due to the nature of the looking at it, to me, I could tell it seemed like a, it was either an overdose or self-harm. And then you know, you always get these, you get these people, like, don't post these pictures. How would you feel if that was your loved one? Well, yeah, but they were, they were at Slater Park. I mean, they were in a public place. Um, there were children nearby. So, I, I go with, like, uh, the public. And this whole business about the family, well, I, I don't think the person that was in that vehicle at Slater Park didn't seem to be too concerned about the family based on the actions oh there's Africa oh we're on America oh okay you were talking that's all right nope all right, folks, this is America, and, and I don't we don't see anything. So they were, a car that they were looking for did kick back to America, but it didn't, nothing came back. What do we head towards them? Let's go to North Main. No? Okay. Twenty one turn up. 
think he advised male call is stepping out, but the female the female assailant is on the second floor. She pops me point. Oh. All right, folks, thumbs up. Good driving by Mark. All right, we're on the hill. They've been circling trying to find this vehicle. Some kind of vehicle involved with an incident kept heading back to America. Now, unfortunately, the hill is quiet tonight. It's a nice night. I think it'll be a little more crowded. We'll see if BLM tries to come up here and destroy Federal Hill again like they did the summer of 2020. If they do, We'll have full coverage. But I heard they were warned after that. I heard that on very good authority. Those ATVs? No, just motorcycles. Illegal, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the old canteen. Still open. He has not closed doors yet. There's Camille. Camille's, I should say. Big time. Folks, nice night out, dry. Jacket weather, but not winter jacket weather. He's definitely quiet. Yeah. Looks like there's Murphy's Pub, big journal hangout. Bob Curry's just walk over there and write his column sitting at the bar. Hey, pretty good crowd. We still do well, Murphy's. Certainly do well, PC Games. Comrade Kerr writing his communist pabble. 
we put him out to pasture. Now he just roams around Fall River saying, I'm Bob, I used to be Bob Kerr. Folks, again, Wednesday night, we are down city. We're going to take a ride over North Main Street. Again, it is. Mark is kind enough to drive us so we could be ready. And the idea is to be first one on the scene. But folks, many times this is this is what it's like being on parole with police. Sometimes it's quiet. Sometimes you get things. And then we just go with the flow. There's what used to be the Biltmore. Some kind of a new name, but... Is where it used to be Providence City Hall. Folks, the buses fill up at Kennedy Plaza. Uh, federal court folks that's where Operation Plutonome trial was right in that courthouse yep. is where the woman was swimming in the river and she moved out Hey, by the way, on Matheson Street, we were posting where where they were uh, sleeping in the doorways, and they have now blocked that off, from what I'm told. So, Folks, we are over right on North Main. Good evening, everyone, at 939. It is Juan. Mark is driving. I want to thank Roberta Farrell. I want to thank David San Martino. Hey, also, um, I have some of the documents. I was able to get some of the documents with the Lugo decision. Officer Lugo will be back with the Providence Police. I'm going to be posting those on the website, petro.com, tomorrow morning. I haven't seen anyone else have them, but it talks about the hearing that they had on Officer Lugo, and basically they felt, and I'll, you'll see it, where Jennifer Rourke, the woman, basically lied to the Rhode Island State Police. And I have no explanation why she has not faced any consequences for it. So now this is North Main. There was certainly uh, some problems, Camp Street, not long ago. but it was much warmer outside, put it that way. Now folks, so this has been, we have been on the ground in Providence. There's been some minor calls tonight. We 
we're going to make our way towards uh, the Cranston Warwick area. Can we get on the highway over at yep. Branch? Yep. But folks, Providence tonight. Again, last night, triple stabbing. Tonight, just some minor. There was the car they were looking for. Some minor uh, accidents. Minor problems. Nothing major this evening. Granted, it's still just 940. I know that uh, Tucker Carlson spoke out tonight for the first time. I'm going to play that. Everybody. He has, he did release a brief statement. He did release a brief statement. We'll do it at that. Thought I would include that. Brooks, we're gonna uh, head south a little bit. We have been in Providence. Right now we are monitoring Cranston, Warwick, West Warwick, Coventry. I want to mention, I like that line somebody put. I almost pulled a Bacchus. I can't see that enough. Folks, we're going to keep that alive. Everyone else wants to let her get away with it. Not Juan. No way. No, sir. Not, I will not stop requesting the... Uh, body camera footage of the officers that had to clean up the back of the squad car. That is my promise to you. 
Folks, again, it is Wednesday night, 945. We have been in Providence. Just some minor falls. Now, again, it's always, you know, good for police. I like to see that. Doesn't always fit our purposes, but we are now, just so everyone understands, we are now in full live stream coverage. Very happy the way we've been. Um, I want all of you to know that we've been monitoring all the stories. And even today, as I said, we was just, I was just about to head to Providence. Word came out erroneously that uh, a child had been shot on a school bus. But it turned out someone threw a rock through a school bus window in Providence, right on Douglas Avenue. And so, um, so for that, I mean, yes. Thank you, David. Folks, David San Martino, thumbs up for David. Been monitoring everything. By the way, again, Friday night, Cranston PD Live will be episode twenty. And it'll be 7.30 to 9.30. Now, if something breaks, we go later. And if something breaks, we may go earlier. But we'll notify it. But I, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll be on tomorrow. And then I also want everyone that's watching right now to understand that when the weekend rolls around, for those of you, I think a number of people started to notice it. But... And I'm not knocking them, but the local television stations really, I mean, they go to skeleton crew. Um, and I, I think by now people have seen the shooting in Woodsocket, the manhunt in Warwick last week. I mean, we were by far the only ones on the scene. So I want you to know, you know, we're going to see what happens. Now, it's only 947, but... Tomorrow night, tomorrow, Friday, Friday night. If that thing, I, I don't think the protest is going to do anything or amount to anything. I just don't. Uh, there's no intelligence. There's no vibe on it. It's When those things really take off, it's normally like something really just happened. That is certainly not the case. And so, um, but then that really... Then that just kicks off the weekend coverage. So, and so many people, as you can tell, have been now uh, filming and joining Team One. And we're going to continue. Now, again, all subscribers, there's some info about Charlotte Lester. Let me just touch on that, folks. I promised a Charlotte Lester update. The one year anniversary, hard to believe, is coming up Tuesday night. May 16th, there will be a candlelight vigil. I'll get you all the details ahead of time. We'll be on it. And then um, I want to be really clear. And someone said to me, you know, and I got kind of a, an insulting um, uh, email from someone that said, you know, you with this Charlotte Lester stuff, that case is over. You're the only one that's still, first of all, it's not over. And number two, yes, that's right. I I turned to Channel 10. They're not even covering it anymore. Well, we are. I am. Well, Channel 12 said there's many different suspects. I, I Channel 12 was wrong. Channel 12 was wrong. So I'm going to come back. And, and I've seen some people saying, where can I learn about Charlie Lester? And folks, we have more on DePetro.com than all the other news outlets combined. And you got to read between the lines a little bit. You know, who who did I encounter? R and Ski Mask Man. Where was she last headed? His house. Where were police for a month? A month at the house on Staples. So it's not over. I have full faith in the work police. I want to commend. Kathy and the Lester family, and, and we have done everything possible legally to keep the story alive. But 
I, I, that person, I talk to, what did, what did they say? I, to my neighbor works at Channel 10. They said they're not even covering it anymore. I said, well, they should, because it's not over yet. She said it's over. Well, they're wrong. They gave up on it. We don't give up on it. Remember that scene in Scarface? Every dog has its day, Mel. Right? Folks, we have not... Listen, I mean, tragically, we're not going to bring her back alive. She will not be found alive. However, her, her and her family deserve better and an explanation. And someone is going to be held accountable. Period. Well, Channel 12 says it could be anyone. Channel 12's wrong. Well, 10's not even covering it anymore. Well, they, they are wrong. So you're saying, yes, I'm saying that. Yes. No. We haven't, we've never given up on the story. How certain am I? I was willing to have that maniac <laughs> attack me and try to take my life. I was so certain he was not answering all the questions. And folks, remember in his statement to police, he said that my continual coverage of the case was driving up, up the walls. Good. And I know you're watching, Perkins. They watch it on replay. Don't think it's over, Perkins. It's just getting started. It's going to be another summer of coverage. We're not going away. So, folks, at 9.52 on this Wednesday, again, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank David San Martino. Thank you, Roberta. Of course, Mark, who's been driving us. Uh, Cranston PD Live coming up on Friday night. I want people to know, I mean, when I sign off, I don't ever really sign off. And anything could happen at any time of the day and we're there. Uh, but then Charles Lester, you watch, that case is not over. All right, folks, thank you to everyone. Thank you, everyone. We're back tomorrow. You've been watching first one on the scene live stream. Thank you again to Mark for driving us and enjoy this Wednesday evening.